don't, don't, don't call me Superman If you haven't found my cryptid mode What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here And the question that a lot of people want to know is Is AMD going to be able to match uh, Intel's current CPU offering by the time they launch Zen? Now of course, Intel right now is kind of on the Skylake train uh, you know how Intel's obsessed, you know, with the bridges, Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge, and the lakes under them, like, um, Sky Lake, uh, they're gonna be, uh, launching Cannon Lake early next year, you know, lakes and bridges or whatever. Um, well, look, anyway, um, by the time AMD launches Zen, which is gonna be at our, oh, it's gonna be either late this year, like, late, late this year, or early next year, Intel's already gonna have either KB Lake or Cannon Lake, less likely to be Cannon Lake, they're gonna have one of those two, uh, you know, CPU architectures out already. Now, AMD, they don't need to match Skylake, like one for one, match them, or even, it'd be good if they're matching them, it'd be good if they're beating them, but AMD kind of just needs to get within, you know, punching range, within the range, within, you know, a good radius. I'm just saying any, like, distance kind of metric uh, to explain this, but they need to be kind of close to Intel, because if they're not, then they're done. They need to have good performance. Now, of course, a report did say that AMD Zen is going to be greater than 40%. Um, it's going to be, it's going to have, this is really hard to word, but it's going to have a greater than 40% increase in IPC over Excavator. Now, when I say Excavator, I'm saying Excavator, not Power Driver, not Bulldozer, not Steamroller, Excavator. So remember, we had Bulldozer, then we had Power Driver that was better than Bulldozer, we had Steamroller that was better than Power Driver, then we had Excavator, which is better than the other three. Now, of course, uh, Zen is apparently going to be better or much better, 40% better in IPC. Remember, IPC is the, the specific term, so you need to have identical clock speeds for it to make sense. It's going to be 40% better than the others. So that should be very good. I mean, People are saying that that would put it 67% uh, better than an 8350, for example. Look, it's not going to really convert like that. I don't think you can just use flat mass uh, based on what we have to work it out. It's not going to be that easy. We're just going to have to wait and see. But look, if AMD can come close to matching Intel and then they can price these CPUs just below uh, Intel at the time, then I believe they'll be good. Now, look, remember, AMD doesn't want to come off as the cheap option. That's not what you want to do as a business. You don't want the consumer to think, oh, I couldn't afford Intel, so I went to bought AMD because it's cheaper, you know what I mean? I mean, when I'm, you know, maybe when I get a bit of money, when I get a job, then I'll go buy Intel. But since AMD is cheap, I bought AMD. That's not what AMD wants as a business or as a company. They want to be seen as a premium option as well. The only reason you're selling the 8350, 8320, 6300, 6350, 4350, whatever you want to call it. The only reason you're selling it so cheap is because they don't perform anywhere near as well as what Intel is offering. So they have to sell it cheap. And there's no doubt that originally, man, AMD was selling that shit at a loss flat massive loss but um anyway hopefully that will change and if they can get within some kind of range with intel and they price it well when i say well i don't mean like undercut themselves they don't need to sell it dirt cheap they still need to make money they need to make a profit they're in debt if they don't make substantial profits off of this off of zen and off of polaris I don't know what they're going to do, man, because they need money. And people don't understand that. People are thinking AMD is going to launch an 8-core CPU for $300. It's not going to happen, man. If you're going to launch an 8-core CPU and it performs close to an Intel 8-core CPU, you're going to price it close to an Intel 8-core CPU. They're not going to, of course, AMD's equivalent to the 5960X or 6950X or whatever, which is actually going to be a 10-core, but... What you know? What you know? What I'm trying to say? AMD's equivalent. It's not going to be a thousand dollars. It's not going to be the same price. It's likely to be cheaper, but it's still going to be. Uh, it's going to perform well, and it's not going to be cheap in a sense. It's still going to be a premium product. AMD still wants to launch premium products. And I swear, I'm getting darker. The stupid bloody um auto lighting is kind of starting to screw up with my skin. You know that's black man issues. But look, yeah, as I was saying. We need some good pricing. They need some competitive pricing, but not completely cheap, ripping themselves off pricing. And if you guys are waiting for like some cheap AMD 6 calls or some shit, it's not going to happen, guys, because you're going to have to sell it at a reasonably high price. 
So of course they will have lower offerings. They'll have like quad cores that'll be similarly priced to Intel quad cores, and they'll probably be cheaper as well. So don't don't think that you know AMD. I'm not trying to say AMD is gonna match Intel completely in pricing. I'm just saying that don't be surprised if the prices are more than you expected, okay? Because if they perform as well as they apparently do, then of course they're gonna be more expensive. Because if you're getting a better performing product, you're gonna be getting a higher price. That is just how business and products and product pricing works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and look. I don't know, it's tough to say. I just don't think AMD is gonna be able to beat Skylake. They definitely won't beat Skylake. Now, of course, I could be wrong. They could be beating Skylake, but we just don't have anything, no, any numbers. I just don't think there's been, um, it's hard to say, because it's just been so long since AMD released the CPU. You don't know where they are at in um, terms of performance. No one has ever seen Zen perform at all. We've seen Excavator, but Excavator is still based on CMT, on the whole module kind of thing. So we don't know how AMD's new architecture, we don't know how Jim Keller uh, impacted all this. We don't have any performance numbers. We've got nothing. So right now we can just presume that it's going to be a good performing chip or Zen will be very, very good, but we just can't say or can't confirm that's going to be better than something like Skylake in which Intel has a proven track record of releasing raw performing CPUs. So uh, I don't know man, I'm just talking a lot. Let's just hope, we can hope that AMD releases something good and let's just hope that this is going to be a great year for the PC platform. So look guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed I really, really wish you guys would subscribe if you like my shit. But anyway, I will see you guys later. The BK has got a piece of it. Laters.